for this book first uh, inside this so go to the modifier first apply some kind of material just apply some kind of checker assign it check it and increase the dimension twenty five. Okay, so once I apply this, uh, now we have to unpack this object. So go to modify, we convert to poly. We have to unwrap now. Okay, so now open open UV editor. So uh, we will see using the filter mapping uh, for this. So how we can just extract that data so previously we used to do pattern mapping and groups so this time we can just use the felt mapping option so first thing you need to define the edges so whenever you are doing the felt mapping so select this edge double click on this here also so alt and deselect now now this is all select so whatever i want to deselect you can press Alt and deselect all. Okay, so down also. So let's select this. So we can control. Now everything is selected. Okay, so press F3. Which one? And this is not selected, so it's still selected. And then this is fine. Okay, so all this thing, uh, whatever this region is now, we have done the selection of that. And here we have to come and click on this convert edge to select seams to uh, edge selection to seam. So, what will happen is it will convert that uh, into some kind of seam. So, yeah, so just convert that. Now, uh, we need to open this out. So, all these edges also we need to open it. So click on this edge, convert to seam. This whole thing, so it should turn into blue actually. So I can just select this whole part now. Select this and this, seam. Okay, so again you come over here down and just try to adjust that seam from here. Out. So I need to open all that book uh, over here. So I'm just selecting everything like this, like this. So once you define everything as a C, now I can select all these polygons, control V. So everything is selected now. So F3 and just check control V. And open this UV editor, it is already there and we have something over here called felt mapping. So click on this felt map, start felt, start relax and commit. So this one, now I can just felt, start felt, start relax, commit. Okay, so this is that whole book part now. So whatever this part, if you just want to separate that out, you can just peel it. So once I peel it, so this is how the book is now. So we can just see. So some of the uh, things are not open yet over here. So I need to just check it out here. So once I peel, everything looks fine. And now it is just time to do the felt map for the start felt. Okay, so it will start opening that and here we have relax also. So inside relax also we have different options over here by center by polygon angles so you can just start so you start by using that polygon angles commit and close so now it has opened the book like this okay so we have the book texture and this is for the pages so this is all the pages what texture you want to add it and this is for the whole book so i can add some kind of leather texture for this book so rotate that and we need to pack everything into this. So select everything, come over here, pack normalize. 
Okay, so when you are doing this, what you want is over here is so you want a little bit of there is lot of UV space over here, so that is empty. So what you can do is you can increase the size of this. So press R. Okay. So select this one. I just save the file. Okay, so press R and here we can just go from this and try to scale it, press W and move it out. So how much I can utilize the UV space, that much I can scale this. So I can click it over here, just click on this and try to scale it, press this flag. So this is done, now we have this object, now you can just rotate this to fit that into UV, so let's fix it over here. And this also, if you just want to scale it, so press R, to go for the scale tool, just try scaling that. So, how much uh, you should not go beyond this beam? Yeah. Okay, so we have done all this uh, texturing. So, if I just press F3 now, so everything looks fine. Okay, so for this I am giving little bit of more space and we have this other thing done. So now we will just do the base color uh, inside Photoshop. So first select everything. Go to mapping and here tools, render UVW template and let's take it. So if you want 2K texture. So 2048. Render that. Save. And desktop, I just want as a book text. Let's save it. So, that format you want, you can just save it as uh, PNG or JPEG is also fine. Let's save it as uh, PNG mode. Okay. okay, so this is done. So our basic thing is done. I'll just export this now into Marmoset. Export selected and go for desktop and save it as OBJ. So this is a book. So now I'm just creating all the maps. I will check inside Marmoset. Marmoset and Photoshop should be open. Open Marmoset. Scroll back and I will just start adding that book texture to it. Okay, so go to file now. Go to file, import, and let's import that book object. Okay, so what is the first material? So if you just want to add some kind of material over here, so you can also create uh, some material from this. So I'll just use this specular uh, material now. I'll just drag and drop this on the top. Okay, so I'll just use that. Now let's start adding the texture. So open that map inside Photoshop. So you have this texture. Open it. And I need to take some kind of references for the book also. So search for old books. Okay, so collect lot of reference. So what kind of texture you want to create? Suppose if you think the book is this old. So how that uh, book leather will be there on the top of it? What is the base color? That is the base color. Then you have another which is on the top of it. So you have this kind of book. So find if the papers are like this. So if the papers, what kind of papers it will be there. So that we need to see inside this. And what is the background uh, for that book? If any letters are there. So first collect a lot of reference. 
then you start working on it. So you just come up with like one thing you want to do it. Uh, what is the texture preference I'm taking? Suppose this kind of texture I think I'm taking or this. So take multiple reference of the book and then we can come up with our own uh, kind of texture on the top of it. So this will be useful. Suppose if you have to do this kind of tier kind of thing means you have to model. So inside your model or in itself it should be like this. Then only you can create that kind of tier effect. So this other way. No, this uh, low poly also it should be there because it will come out. Otherwise it will be uh, shown in normal map but actually when you change the angle it will not come out, right? So when you create a normal. This one. Huh. In low poly, uh, should we just take one plane or like make them? Another, one more plane should be there. Huh. No, no, it should be having that bend also. So even that bend should be there in that low poly. Okay, so we have a lot of references now. So what I'll do is I'll just find one kind of letter texture first. So we have this as a reference I'll take and I'll find it out where the dust is there and where the papers are there. So we'll just find now some kind of leather textures. So search. So this will be the base texture. Texture seamless. So I just use that. Suppose this book you want, uh, this kind of book you can take it. Uh, just find some more images. And find a little bit of bigger size texture, so large. So you can see the texture details on the top of it. Okay, so any of these textures also I can use it and then I can change that. Uh, color as well. This is 4K texture. My texture resolution is 2K. I am just taking the texture of 4K res. Yeah, this one. So it is having nice details of the texture. Uh, so if I am taking low res, you will not find the texture. But here we can see nice details of the texture is there. I just save this and let's have this picture. So open in Photoshop. Try to go for Photoshop play and create a new layer. Fill with and this is where I need to add the textures for this. So, uh, but check that whether the UVs are in a proper place or whether it is cutting out over here. So if it is like this cutting, so you need to check inside previous maps and make sure that you do that uh, UVs proper. So go to open UV editor. So if it is going little bit of out of that, your texture will miss see this. Okay, so this is going out means that this part is not going to texture. So make sure that everything, whatever you do it, make sure that it is properly placed. And again, I have to export this. So if you look at the inside this. So when you pack normalize, it will become, but when you are scaling that manually, just check everything, select this, go to tools, render, so it is 2k, and then you can click, save, and I'll just save that as this, book UV, so. and I have done the changes over here, I have done the changes over here, and the same changes has to be done inside my book at time also. Because I exported previously the OBJ which was different UVs. So that UV will not be updated automatically. So you have to make sure that you select that export. Export selected and overwrite that again. Okay, because UVs were changed. So I just changed the UV, you have to again export it. And again you have to make sure that you import that over here. So just delete. Go to file, import and let's go for book. So now it is built. So that circular map, and let's work on this uh, leather texture. Okay, so import that texture, what we have downloaded. So that will be our base texture on the on top of it. So let's use this one. So I use base texture, control A, control C, control D, and press control T. Scale that up. 
see how much uh, will be the size of this so if you are feeling that the texture scale is much more bigger size so if it looks too much bigger over here you can just still scale it down and keep it so this is the size okay or uh, since what we can do is we can also define the pattern over here so select this go to edit define pattern so i can use the brush tool to paint it uh, so i don't have to duplicate the texture again so once i click on this define pattern uh, just name it as leather so any tileable texture you have you can define that as a pattern so just hide this and here if i just go to this option pattern stamp tool and i can choose that pattern over here so we have this leather click a new layer and then you start drawing it okay so it will define that pattern depending on how much big that is so when doing this if you want to make sure that it is small in size so uh, you can reduce the size of this and then you can define the pattern so image image size that is 4k so you can just make it around pixels So if I'm just defining this as a pattern now, so this is the pattern. Control A, edit, define pattern. Just name it as leather small. So then go over here and and just use that another pattern. So get this. What? So it is quite uh, instead of dragging and dropping. If you once you define the pattern, so already it is already there, and we can just define the pattern over here. So it is not having that much big size of the texture. And we have done this. Yeah. Okay. So once we have done this book, I'll just uh, clean that properly. So I'll just cut this out. This part. I don't want this. Okay. So upload this into. Marmoset. So go to file, save as, and this is your Albedo. So save on your computer and name it as Book Texture Albedo. Done. Load that texture into Marmoset. So this is how it is looking right now. So with this this texture. So I don't want this much shininess. You can remove this gloss. So how much the old uh, leather will shine? So that can be adjusted using this gloss map. So if it is too much shiny, you increase the glossiness. You just check how much is the leather shininess. Take some reference for that, and then you adjust this gloss. We need to create even that map gloss map now. Now we have this. Now I need to add some kind of uh, paper textures. So let's add some kind of paper textures. Uh, so basic textures I'll add. Then I'll add some kind of scratches and dust and all this. And what all the uh, details are there for the book? Uh, some name is there for the book. That I'll be working. Suppose if I don't like this color of the texture, so I can just go over here and I can just change this color. Let's go for this image adjustment, hue saturation, and You want to little bit change this color first. You want little different color over here, and saturation you want to reduce. So you can reduce the saturation. If it is more saturated, it will be like this. I want little less saturated. So old uh, objects will be less saturated compared to the new one. So that you have to keep in mind when you are doing that texture. So if it is old book or old thing, it will be less saturated. Okay, so good file save, and again go to the marmo set, and you need to check that uh, load it again. Yeah. Okay, so if I just hold shift on my keyboard uh, and right click, I can change the texture over here. So hold shift and right click, I can just change the direction of this, and I can check that. Okay, so now let's add some kind of paper textures. and find some kind of texture for that 
Just go and bring this uh, picture for the future. So if you can find something like this, with the old papers, if you just want to see some of these old papers, textures, we want a little bit of space. And you have the, some of the references for this also. You can just see all these references. Okay, so how uh, the paper of fact it will be, and we can add some lines over there. To create. Suppose if I just like this uh, texture for that paper. Okay, so I'll be adding that, and we have to add some kind of papers uh, texture over there. So we just find which is that textures are there. So old book papers. This kind of thing. If you find this kind of thing is, you can find like this. Because we want everything uh, to be there. So let's find something which is better. Even we can just see that. So even this will be good if I want to add some kind of texture. So let's take so many lines here. Pictures over here. And this kind of feel effect is also nice. So oh, I think I can get this one. I just got that. Yeah, this one is good. So once I got the base uh, picture of that, let's one create one. This, these are actually good uh, textures, so you can find that it looks like some kind of wooden texture as well. So this, this will be nice uh, to go with, so if you find everything is okay. Okay, so this is what I need to find. If I want to create manually, then I have to uh, draw that inside Photoshop. So till it downloads, everything is uh, inside the same. Everything has a, a logo for that. Okay, okay let's go to Photoshop now. So what I do is just manually create. So open this uh, Photoshop now, create a layer and we have this. So what I'll do is we just start by adding some lines on the top of it. So bring this down, let's add some lines, very thin lines like this. So fill with very light uh, paper color. Control D. And same thing. What, what I'll just do is I'll just duplicate over here. Control T. Scale that. This is darker shade. Okay. And you can merge both of the things and just duplicate the layers. So just start adding. Control T. Scale that down. And start placing that. So multiple uh, things will be just placing it one on one. Use some gap. 
So I'm just doing manually all this. Uh, uh, I can scale it later also. So just start adding that all the things. So if you can get that texture, uh, it is fine. But otherwise, you have to manually do this way. So I'll just yeah. So just bring that down. So dust and uh, different color variations, I'll give it later. So switch off this and we have this. Okay, so I just added that kind of thing and uh, now we can just start some kind of new layer on the top of it. So I just, you want to merge everything? I'll merge, merge layers. So, so this is fine. Now if you want to do some kind of variations to it, uh, create a new layer. Now go for this fill tool, just add some kind of variations on with the color part of it. Okay, so make it more this dot like this. Control right click. So I done the selection now, you can just start adding. So increase the size of this. Just uh, some variation I am giving on the top of this group, so it is not new. So it is having some kind of old kind of uh, layers, so again create some new layer. And let's start adding with a more, little bit of more darker shade of this. Let's start adding that over here. So I'll just change the blending mode now, so let them just move. So change the blending mode to different. So I, until and unless I see a little bit of yeah, so this looks, this is too much. Overlay was good. Let's see this one. Screen or something, I feel like this one really looks like. Let's go for this. Uh, overlay will be too much. And you can reduce the opacity of this if you feel that it is too much. So I want like this, little dirt. Yeah. So save this, control S. And check inside Logno set again. Yeah, some of this. Okay, so in between also if you want some kind of uh, lines over here. So now if you feel that this is too uh, thick, the pages are too thick, come back to the Photoshop and now select this layer. Yeah, this is the main layer. So press Ctrl T. Just scale it down. And while scaling, I don't want this to be scaled in this uh, equal distance, right? So can you scale? So, so just to change the size of that thickness of that. Now duplicate this. Just drag and drop. Just drag. Save, control S. Go to Marmo set, check that. So once it is saved, I think it is done. Yeah. Okay, so now we have this enough of pages over there. So it was a little too much thick before. Now we have enough pages. So now we can just start working. So I feel that it should be more uh, desaturated. This is more saturated right now. So the color looks more new. So go to this uh, same texture layer, so everything you can want to merge, you can merge it. Uh, this is what I have duplicated, right? this is dirt, this is the textures. So select everything, right click, merge layers. And go to image, adjustment, saturation, reduce that saturation amount. Just want a little bit saturated, even this colors. Uh, which are rare. So even this is more so. Image, adjustment, saturation, little bit of reduce that. So on the top of it, save the file, let's check it. And once it uploads, uh, you just see that. Okay, so you need to check that again. This looks fine. Uh, so more dirt uh, you want to add on the top of it, uh, so more things. 
But this is fine now. Uh, any of these scratches we want to create inside this leather now. So we can just add some kind of down layer on the top of below it. So we have this leather layer. Click on this layer, and what I'll do is I'll just fill with uh, whatever the leather texture should be there inside the book. So just check vintage book, my old books. Take reference of that, and now you can just see that. So, what kind of color will be there uh, below the leather over here? So, if you have a little bit of darker leather, so that is what we need to see it uh, with a different different textures. Okay, so now I see this. So, if you want this kind of color, I just want that clear effect inside this. So, uh, use that Photoshop now again. It is there. Click on this and create a new layer that should be below this and just try to fill with this color. Very light. Fill and switch on this top layer and switch on this. Now, where and all you want this. So, the UVs are keep to understand where and I want, I want the clear effect. So, and you can use some kind of mask. So, here we have layer mask, add the layer mask. For this top layer. Now use the brush. So where you want. So if you want some kind of clear effect for the brushes, so if I just use that, select this, and suppose on this place you want. So in the borders, uh, if you want that kind of clear effect, so just start adding that also. And it, it will not be seen. So some place it is there, some place. Uh, now you want to rotate the brush. Go to brushes. Here uh, we have this angle for the brushes. We can also rotate the brush angle. So if I go to brush settings, rotate. Okay, so I am rotating the direction of the brush because in this place I want here. So just rotate the brush direction and let's start adding that. Suppose on this place, and again you want to rotate, go to brush, brush setting, rotate, like this, or this is the proper thing, so let's start adding. Just start adding it, so all the places are just like that, here also. Okay, so different brushes also I'll take it, but uh, you can just rotate still. Now start doing this. So it should not look like some kind of pattern you are doing. So just change that variations. So some places it can be more. Okay, so I'll just use some different brushes also. Let's try doing that brush. So, uh, if I want to find some kind of clear brushes also, so you can download it different places. It should not look like similar to one. So, let's see if it's clear. Okay, so this is done. Now what you can do is so here is if you want feel that it is too bright or something. Now go for this image adjustment and saturation. You go for the saturation, check that. See how much you want for that and how much dark you want. Okay, so some places you want little like very light. Uh, so saturation is there. So the saturation is right here. This is the okay, so now I applied that and for this layer what you can do is you can just select this layer, go to layer, layer style 
and you want little bit of shadow over there so you can just do drop shadow okay so when i do the drop shadow you can see the distance of that you can just see that so it will give that kind of clear effect for this now press ok now switch off this layer top layer and we have done something over here which has fit okay and different uh, colors also i try to blend now so create new layer let's add some different colors on the leather so it will not be the same color so i'll just use some kind of red dark red let's start adding so this will be random so let's start adding this random and i'll just use some kind of blending modes and uh, play around with this okay so this is upgrade layer now go for blending mode and let's try changing that over here so if i just go for little darker let's go for darker over here and reduce the opacity of this maybe less so i see some kind of color variations inside this so it will not be the same uh, color over here so little bit of brown a uh, little bit of this color and brushes also you need is important what brush i am using over here so just give a nice brush so splatter is there and again create new layer let's start adding that so random is just fine you go to image adjustment skew saturation do some variations for that so let's move up this go for this color like this okay and when you change it again blending mode try adding that so it gives little bit of more uh, older look as i try adding on the top of it suppose i feel this color dot will be good so i feel that color dot has that nice uh, variations on the book so this is fine now save this control s let's check that out okay so still we are working only on the base color okay okay so we didn't add any kind of uh, still any kind of colors over there if i go to the sky we can increase the brightness of this and check it so if you are not seeing that let's check with the blender this how this looks okay so what are the things you want now so if you want some kind of uh, feel effect uh, on the top of it so if you can find some brushes for that uh, go for brazil so here you will find some of the brushes for feel effect brush so if you want to have that feel kind of brush let's see this Okay, so this is good site where you can download uh, different types of brushes. And what I want, I want some kind of scratches also uh, on the top of it. So you can also have some kind of map. So you just go for some kind of scratch. Here you have the scratches. Same field brushes are also there. So search for that category brushes. You want that. paint or brushes or so for brush and we have this okay so what kind of uh, brush you are looking for we have all these brushes you will get over here so sometimes you might want this kind of brush sometimes uh, you require totally different brush like paint kind of brush yeah you just need to download that and use it so i'll go for this and if i go for some kind of scratch effect or this is what we have so let's open that inside this so some are free some are for a uh, paid i'll just see that which are free which you can use it and uh, this also will be helpful when you are painting on the book uh, this brushes okay so just to add that so please download 
and then I can load that brushes inside Photoshop. So once it downloads, and uh, this also I think that it is very nice that it is free. So fine, all these premium brushes are there. There are a lot of premium brushes. So find the this is also okay. For some kind of uh, texture or you want some kind of textures, you also have this textures over here. You will find a lot of textures as well. I just want this grunge texture. So this will also give, so what I do is I just change the blending mode. So if you have some of this grunge texture or dirt texture, so we have some of this scratches texture. So that can be added as an overlap uh, on the top of this. So I will just show one thing. Yeah. So this kind of textures are also useful when you are using them. Okay. So this will give that, uh, once you add that blending mode, uh, it will look nice. Not getting that texture. It is coming here. So for lunch texture. Even this texture it can be used. For giving that old effect, right? So these textures are very useful uh, when you are using them. So let's use this one. And all I have to do is change the blending mode uh, inside Photoshop and you can use that. Okay, so find how that uh, uh, textures are there on the book. So, uh, or if it is a wall, what kind of texture is there on the wall. So, we can just find it out over here. So, sometimes on the book you want this kind of texture also. This, this also gives nice effect. So, let's use this. Whatever I can use, I just start using that. So this one, save as, save on the desktop. So just collect lot and lot references. Now I have this in the folder, just use that. Okay, so where I can use this uh, kind of texture on this edges. Okay, now change this blending mode to multiply. Multiply is one option, you can go for screen. There is also screen option, you can go for overlay. So if you want to add that as an overlay, which is below that. So you can just see that different textures options are there. So I'll just use this one. Soft light, use a layer mask on the top of it and use the brushes and I just want to uh, erase that. So let's not change it. So we on the corners of the book, right? So we just need all this over here. So let's start adding the same texture over here. So let's go for this drag and drop. So just use that below. And little variations we can change it. So that is what we need to keep on adding layer by layer. So again drag it, control T and let's rotate that. Just want to fix it here. Again, this side, control T. And I'll be uh, changing that mask over here. So let's press enter and drag it. So some can be little smaller. Like that. Control T. Let's start adding that. Press enter. Okay, so now everything which is looking same, what I'll do is I'll just merge everything now. So I'll layer. Change the mode to overlay. Which was that? Soft light. Is it soft light? And again, you add a mask. And wherever you feel that it is too much, you just start removing that. So I feel that here it is too much. 
Coming to my back, let's see this. Here we go again. Let's start. We started adding this also. So, layer by layer, uh, we have to keep on improvising, keep on adding that over here. So, that's how uh, we'll be working on this. So, I think if I downloaded that uh, map, so even this layer, so we have this also. So, let's drive out this picture on the top of everything. Enter and if you just change the mode to multiply and reduce the opacity of this just to give that little bit of testing feel on the top of it. So you can just see a lot of variations you can have. Like during the multiply, if I just change that to screen, uh, go for the screen, we get that. If you are looking for this feel, uh, you can just have this and just reduce the opacity of this little down. So you get that little bit of dust feel on the top of that. So multiply will give different people, but when I add like this kind of dust, uh, which will be on the top of that. So you can just have this kind of dust effect. So I want to change the color. You can select this whole thing, go to image, adjustment, levels. And inside this levels, I can change. So if I want to adjust a little more red for the dust layer, I'm just adding more red. So if you want to add more yellow, adjust the blue. So it will add more of this yellow tone for this. So if you want to mix both, uh, you can adjust with red channel and blue channel. If I want to mix this. So this is done now, so just save that file. Control and here also. Let's make this on this place as well. Control T. Scale that. So this is an overlay on the top of it, and we can just change that to some other. Opacity is very less. Let's try it again. So this should be on the top of all the layers. So this I'm adding for the book as well and reduce this opacity a little down. So don't yeah, so this is what it is. And cut this out so we don't require this much. So again you can mask it. So let's go. So you control S, save that file, and let's change it over here. So once it saves, uh, I'll just open the one more set and you'll see that how does it look. So, let's see. So we have added this dust uh, also on the top of it now. So little white patches and dark edges over there. Yeah. Okay, so now we want to add some kind of title for this, even this. Now. So we have added this kind of dust as well. Okay. So fine, uh, now if you want to load some kind of brushes, right, so uh, let's save this file also. So only the main base color will work, so this is good. Okay, so once you are satisfied with the base color, then you go for normal map, specular, map selector. So first thing is albedo. So work more on this albedo, try to find it out where, what all things I can add still on the top of it and what is the texture now if you want to load some brushes which we downloaded right now so let's load that so okay so we have this painter brushes so open that into some bright desktop i'll just drag and drop it on the desktop and i want to load that brush uh, you go to the brush tool Go here, here we have this option, uh, we can just import. So click on this import brushes and this is what we have just got, download that. And we load all these 20 painter brushes over here. So now we can just use it, so how you want to use it. So just check that what this brush will be like that. 
So each of this brush will be different. So just start taking that brush and check it. Uh, what kind of effect it will add to the scene. So let's create a new layer. Reduce the size of this. And suppose we can just pick the color from here and want this. So this is what this brush will do. So any of this you want to add on the top, like some kind of paints effect you want to add on the top. Of this. So you have different types of brush. So if it is over here, you want to give some kind of patches on the book. So just start adding it wherever you want. So from here to here to here, patches. And don't change the grading mode. Reduce the opacity. See? Yeah. So it's really nice uh, effect on the top. So same. So keep adding, checking different brushes uh, and just see that what color will be there. How that the dark uh, region will be there as well. And if you just want to add some kind of text on the top of it. So what is that? Here, so some kind of title you want, open the UVs and you will know that where to add the title. So let's add this text layer as well. What is this book? What is this book? Like? And uh, reduce the size of this. <coughs> okay, so once I add this now for this, uh, whatever the text is, there, you want to apply some color, so let's use that. And we'll be just using this. And font you want to change it, you can change the font. Let's use that for now. And uh, to give some kind of effect to that, go to layer, layer style, level emboss. And we can give that uh, effect for that. For here. So if I just use this bevel emboss, so here we have different options. So inner bevel, uh, we have outer bevel. So inner bevel will be good, which you can see that. And we can adjust this depth amount. So how much depth you want, the size of this. Suppose I want like this. And here we can change that. So if you want more chrome kind of effect, you have these different options over here, uh, which you can change it. Okay, so press. And if you want to overlay some kind of gradient, you want to add on the top of it, gradient overlay. And we can change it to different. So we'll go for orange uh, okay so just find which uh, which will be nice for that so just keep till this is fine just use that uh, just don't want just the color overlay you want you can have this color over here. okay so if it is new book it is fine if it is old kind of book I just use the mask on the top of it and just use that brushes so use some kind of different brush which will be uh, cutting that out. We don't want this much bright uh, the text color also, so make it very light. I can pick from here, let's pick from that one. Okay, so it is not embossed and it is some text is there, that's it. You can just see, control S. Now switch off the UVs, control S. And check that one. So it might be coming on the other side, so you need to check, uh, depending on the UVs, how you have overlaid. It might be rotated also. Let's see this, how it looks. 
Is that what this? That's correct. Okay, so the placement of that where you want to place it now, uh, you can just place over here. So some kind of scratches, uh, some kind of uh, maps you want to add on the top of it, still you can add it. So you have that over here. Okay. That's it. Okay, so try working on that. So uh, still there is a lot of things which you can uh, do that on this uh, books covers also. Still I am not happy with this. Create a new layer, let's start adding layer. So I want to create a more dark over here. So control D, control and click over here. So this is also same. Yeah. So this I'll just uh, select control and click and go to the new layer and then start adding that layer. So I just want the opacity of this and reduce and then start adding this. I just want to make it more old. Change the color to dark. So opacity is less, so we can control everything uh, inside this. So paint size, what kind of paint? Reduce the size of this. And then start adding. Just want to be more old uh, kind of thing here. Just add it more. Just try it over Okay, so it will give that uh, nice look for that. Yeah, so I think this one reduce a little bit opacity and control D, control S. Sick. So this is what we will be keep checking it over here. And Adding it back over here. So once it is saved, so once it is done, so we just check it. So let's see this. See, there is no normal map, nothing uh, we have added. We just want to check that. Now we have added more just to that. Okay, so now any decorative things are there uh, over here. So if you want to add that some kind of golden corner floral designs. Uh, so you search for that kind of brushes or that kind of designs which you can find and add this on this corner. So it will be uh, there on this book. Or sometimes it is like plain leather which will be over here which will be covered in, on the top. So that, that is what you need to collect some reference and then you have to start working on it. Uh, over here. So if you want some floral designs, so search for the floral. So you might get a lot of this kind of designs if you want to add something on the corners of this. Uh, so we get this floral design alphas. So if I just check for alphas. Yeah, all this stuff. Yeah, this one. So, if you want this design to be on some of the place, so you can just use this alphas. It's nice. Keep this design. It is too small, but if you can get a little bit of bigger resolution, so search for that size large. So this is good enough, open, open a new tab, and just save that on this over here, and use that in some other background, so show it, so just drag and drop into Photoshop, so where you want that design to be, press enter, and you have this, uh, Design over here, which is okay. okay. So, this down part we don't want, so we can just delete this part. 
and whatever the dark part is where you want to remove, you can just go here and change to three. Okay, so once I change it to screen, we have this. So only these designs are remaining. Now you want to change the color of that. Go to image, adjustment, levels, and let's start adjusting the color. So red. So you can select that, go for blue, adjust that. If you want more of this color, golden. Uh, Color only. So I just adjust that out here and go for RGB. And then you can just start blending it. Okay, so it has to be, uh, we will reduce the opacity of that. So reduce a little bit of opacity to blend with this whole uh, book over here. And saturation, image adjustment, saturation, reduce that little less. So we don't want that much. Saturated color. So anything uh, you feel that, and it should be below all this dust layer and grudge layer. Right? So where you are adding all this dust and all, that should be below. So because that design will be there, and on the top of that, you see the dust. And so the layer, how you are placing that uh, opacity of the layer, so we will mess and want this to be seen. It's fine, so press S and then we will start checking it. It looks nice design, keep it, doesn't look still more nice. So this is just a trial and error what you can check it, which will be looking nice. So there is nothing like this is the perfect thing what you can do. So just check it. So I think this is not nice that much. If I can just change the position of this right here and then this fixed position if I want to bring it down. Here somewhere, make sure of that. Auto select is superb, then we will start. Okay. Control S, check it. So, you don't know. So, once that is saved, you can just uh, check that how it looks like. This is better compared to previous what we have done, and then we can just still work on this. Okay, so brightness we will reduce, it is what it was before. And I can just go to the sky option here, I just change it to color so I can see this text much better way, make it a little more dark. This color I think makes it more dark. So. So I can see that book much better, uh, otherwise the background was too much. Okay, so this is just the base color we have done. Now we have to create a normal map, we have to create glossy map, specular map, so that's what we will be creating once you have this. So if I just save this, go to file, save as. save on your computer. So we have saved the PSD and I'll just save it as. Uh, Let's go for TIFF or JPEG or export, export as <coughs> and then create a normal map from this now. So just go for export. You have class? No. Okay, so I just exported that map. I'll just open that file. This is what I just named. Book class. Yeah, book class. And go to filter. Now 3D normal map. Let's see that. So how much detail we want for this normal map to kind of keep it. So we'll create all the details of the map. Now we get this all the details of this map. So how much you want that uh, detail, you can adjust this detail level over here while ex before exporting the normal map details, how much you want that detail to be exported. 
So if I just press OK, now go to file, export, export, and use that as a normal. Now let's load that normal map over here. So we have the normal map option. So I press and now we can see that map out. So this details, uh, if it is off, you don't see that. If it is on, you see that. Okay, so you can flip also. There are different options if you want to flip that and all the details of this also. So if I just zoom in. Okay, so sometimes you need to flip this uh, maps. So you can just check that normal map by flipping, uh, which axis is fine also. So this is proper. Okay. So this is fine. Now you see the gloss map. So this uh, this is like too much glossy object. Old book wrapped with plastic. <laughs> new plastic so we can adjust this gloss map reduce it and that map also i need to create so if it is old book so how much uh, glossy that will be uh, over here so there will be not no, not too much glossiness when it is old book so whatever this part will be there that will not have any glossiness so leather part will have little glossiness but not too much i would like to use so that can be adjusted using this glossiness map and we also have reflectivity Specular map, so how much it should reflect. So that is also there. Okay, so we have I'll enable some kind of occlusion also with this. So ambient occlusion we enable so you can see nice that. Uh, the contact shadow will be created by this ambient occlusion. So if you don't create that, the shadow will not be generated in the normal. So we have to make sure that now if I increase this. Depth. Okay, so is it uh, we start uh, working only on this uh, map? So now, whatever wood you have done, now we try to work on some kind of leather object, and next will be like some kind of metal objects. So you'll get an idea of all the different types of materials so when you are working on it. How the leather will be having that whole effect, how the metal will have. So once you have the idea, then next uh, mod AEC will be working on the full environment. So we'll be creating all different maps, so some kind of set, environment set that you need to render and submit. Okay. So, okay, so yes, recorded to all.